What's up, everybody? JT here from J and J Cycles LLC. Um, so today is April thirteenth. So uh, I'm not going to be working for this next couple of days in the shop, but I am going to be filming still, so you guys could come hang out with me. Um, <clears throat> so tomorrow's the day uh, my friend passed away, and tomorrow's the day where I go hold up a sign at the skate park. Uh, so. When he left the skate park, when we were like 14 years old, he was a couple years older than me. Uh, he did have his driver's license and he shared a car with his mom. And uh, we were at the skate park. <clears throat> he got a flat tire on his bike, he crashed. And uh, it's even funnier because he never wore underwear. <laughs> it's weird, the weirdest thing. He never wore underwear. Like he would go to school and get in trouble for, you know, every time you saw Eddie, you always gave him a high, high five. So his shirt would come up and you'd see half of his ass. It was really funny. So there was times where he'd even get suspended for not wearing underwear. But uh, so he crashed at the skate park, slid out, blew his tire out and ripped his pants. <clears throat> and he, like I say, he don't wear underwear. So uh, when he ripped his pants, everything was hanging out. So he was going to just uh, go to his house, which is, you know, five minutes from the skate park. And uh, we all hung out at the skate park waiting for him because he was just going to go change his tire and come right back, get some new jeans. And uh, when he left and pulled out from the skate park, he was T-boned by a, a speeding driver. And uh, he died instantly, basically. You know, I'm very close with his family. And uh, I would like to say it was very fast from what his dad told me. Um, basically, you know, when you get hit like that, stuff inside you breaks. And basically his heart, you know, was punctured. And so, ho you know, hopefully it was fast. But it's been 17 years now. And uh, so I'm gonna make that sign today. And it always says, please slow down, my friend died here. <clears throat> and then tomorrow, I'm gonna go hold it up. So I'll see you guys in the shop. What's up everybody? Here we are in the shop with no bikes but mine. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be off for a few days, but it came down into the shop. My old lady was down here doing this. Looks like we're getting that building. <laughs> so anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this right here. This is the board that I'm going to use to draw any stuff on. So check it out. Okay, so that's just my sketch on the board. Now I'm going to get my marker and hard line everything and just start coloring it in. Well, um, had to take a little break. It's as far as I've gotten. I'll finish coloring in here in a little bit. Um, hit me pretty hard just a second ago when I was coloring this in. Um, you know. He was my best friend, and it's, and it's been like 17 years now since he's been gone, so it's tougher and tougher every year making these signs, but I'll do it every year. All right, so that's it. I'm done. Please slow down. My friend died here. I'll be holding up the sign tomorrow for a few hours down by the skate park um, other than that that's about it for this video I know it has nothing to do with J&J &J cycles but I do do this every year as you could see on a previous video and I will continue to be doing this every year so um, today like I said it was super chill um, the LLC or the um, the lease information is done and filled out and signed and now we just got to go turn that in it's looking like our move-in date is May 17th. So, yeah, stay tuned. Peace.